Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general of reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what's coming through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready, definitely. So your energies, guys, the devil. Nine of Wands, your person's energies, the Empress and the Moon, meeting the energies, Temperance, Justice, and the Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. The Three of Pentacles is about working together, uh, building solid foundations. And for me, there is also a touch in favor of an openness that can allow us to learn things that we didn't know before. This can be about an inner process, meaning an inner mindset. And it can also be an energy about the fact that the connection that we are looking at can take place because there is a professional scenario involved, work connections, something along those lines. There is a touch of trust involved, which is positive. Because, guys, I will say it, uh, it's here, basically, in this combination. Um, this can be a very specific reading for some of you that may have uh, doubts towards brand new connections in the Love Arena because you have been hammered before by previous experiences by uh, other partners. Um, they may have broken your trust in the past and now a wounded warrior is trying to protect himself from a devilish type of energy that can be about connections that um, turn out to be a lot different from what they seemed in the beginning. And the feeling is pretty clear. Some of you are super cautious when it comes to new chances. Let's see. Bottom of the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So anxiety, sleepless nights, monkey minds. Um, it's a prison of the mind. When the Nine of Swords shows up, the mind is working against us. So guys, the devil is, um, as I usually say, an energy that uh, catches the attention in Tarot. And it deserves the careful approach that um, we can say it's um, a good thing to do when it shows up. Um, it can be a passionate uh, way of uh, living uh, love partnerships, of experiencing love partnerships, because um, after all, the devil is the other side of the coin if we think about the lovers. But at the same time, this can be a very tricky energy. Uh, it is about excesses, things and behaviors and patterns that can go from 0 to 100 in the snap of the fingers. And then we can encounter problems, uh, difficulties, adversities, challenging situations. The point with the devil is that the pattern keeps going because the devil enjoys to see two persons chained up in a situation uh, without understanding it in a proper way. 
and the cycle keeps going until one of the two, at least, gets the pattern right and breaks free from the situation. You may have learned how to recognize, how to spot this type of energies in potential love partners, but you are super uh, defensive with the nine of wands involved. So even when it comes to interactions, you play safe because the wounded warrior has his defenses up for protection because the past has taught him that this can be the wise thing to do. The Nine of Wands tells us the story of a brave man that has gone through challenges and adversities, finding a way to power through them. He has found a way to persevere, to endure, and in the process he has learned quite a lot about himself and about the journey. That's why there is a, a positive factor when it comes to maturity and wisdom. The temperance, after all, uh, can follow. Now, you, some of you, of course, some of you, are willing to uh, move in a patient way when it comes to new opportunities in love. Basically, you do not want to get hurt. The point with this combination, for some of uh, the persons that some of you may have the chance to interact with, um, the moon the moon is interesting because this person that some of you may know because there is this three of pentacles that is about interactions, connections, um, someone that you can talk with or you can be in company with for other reasons that are not necessarily love related to make my point as clear as I can. The Empress is about self-love. This person um, may be a loving and caring one going with the Empress. The Empress is about the embodiment of self-love. She can recognize meaningful opportunities and she can grant in favor of these uh, connections, let's say, the type of energies that can allow these opportunities to uh, develop in a healthy, balanced way so that they can achieve their highest potential. So this is promising in itself because the mindset that this person has can work. The moon is about the unknown, so it's, it's kind of like they are not telling that they may have interest in favor of some of you because possibly they got the information from some of you, why not, about your previous challenges and now they need to figure out a way that does not create concerns to some of you. I know that the moon sometimes can get the feeling like um, secret, something that is not how it seems. We can agree. In this case, it's kind of like when you know a person, you may start noticing that an interest is growing, but you are not telling. So this person can work like that. The fear factor with the moon comes to play when they think that some of you may bounce away if they show interest. It's, this is a tricky one for this person because the Empress is all about uh, love and nurturing and um, a healthy 
growth, but the moon, there is something under the surface, and so we need an understanding about the situation. We need to dive deeper, as I usually say. The meeting of the energies, guys, um, you are not the first sign that um, gets this combination. The temperance works like a healing process, and this is an encouragement in favor of those of you that can resonate with a devil nine of wands combination. This is an inner process for some of you, meaning giving to you the time that you need to heal, to um, balance yourself in a positive way by going through the tasks of your everyday life. The temperance is a divine alchemy. Um, we learn how to balance things out, how to uh, find common grounds with others, how to uh, meet other people halfway, but um, always keeping in mind the values and the virtues that we believe in. So, if a compromise is needed, uh, it will not come at the cost of sacrificing values and virtues that are important. And this is the fair way to tackle the following chapters of the journey. The justice, it can be even legal matters for some of you. If a previous ending uh, has seen involved uh, a marriage, basically, and so legal matters can be. But then, the justice is a um, fair and fair exchange for me. Not just the right thing, but also the fair one to do. It's a way to bring balance within interactions. For example, a, a combination temperance justice can be considering this uh, devil influence about the willingness to recognize that if disappointing uh, partners have played a role along the journey, it would not be fair to make a new potential partner pay the price for what others have done previously. And so the tendons balance things out in a wise and patient way. And then the justice always has the, the ace of swords involved, meaning that if some of you realize, it, realize that a new connection is not the one that uh, you may desire, you swing the Ace of Swords, clarity and truth, and you say uh, thanks, but no thanks. But on the other hand, maybe a new connection is the one that can be positive for you. And you may have the chance to realize it and go with the flow. Kinda to see what can happen. This is, um, this is a test, basically. Um, to find a way to implement lessons of the journey so that you can still stay open in favor of a new opportunity that can be positive, be a chance for a healthy and balanced connection. It may uh, take a little bit of time because of the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest, but it can be positive. So let's see, guys. Let's see where we are going. I will leave it at that for now. I truly hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. See you there if you want to join me. The link is below. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.